Hello Soul Family, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Do They Want You? But before we get started, I'd just like to take a moment and thank everybody who has liked and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it and your support has really meant a lot to me. And if you wouldn't mind liking this video too, I'd really appreciate that as well. But you know, if not, I could understand, but you know, it doesn't cost anything. Um, also in the video description is where you're going to find information if you're interested in a private video reading and also in the video description is where you're going to find your timestamps. So this is going to be option number one with the cherry volcanic quartz, option number two with the rose quartz, option number three with a labradorite, and option number four with the clear quartz. So you can go ahead and pause the video and take as long as you need, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and find out if they want you. All right, so here we are with option number one with the Cherry Volcanic Quartz, and let's go ahead and find out if your person wants you. All right, so the first one that we have is the Page of Bats, which is also Swords, so the Page of Swords. We also have the Emperor. We have the Six of Pumpkins, the Knight of Wands, and the Lovers in the Reverse. And in clarifying the Page of Swords in the Reverse, we have the Three of Cups or the Three of Potions. Clarifying the Emperor, we have the Three of Swords and the Reverse. Clarifying the Six of Pumpkins, we have the Queen of Swords. Clarifying the Knight of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles, or Presents. And clarifying the Lovers in the Reverse, we have Strength. Then clarifying the Three of Cups, we have Rocking It. Clarifying the Three of Swords and the Reverse, we have the Other. Clarifying the Queen of Swords, we have Game Face. Clarifying the Seven of Presents, we have Meow. And clarifying strength, we have staying in. Then for your oracle cards, we have Skull of Stars. And it says infinite possibilities. And we also have number 36, shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. All right, so the signs that could be associated with this reading is going to be, we have Aries, Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, Virgo. All right. So the question is, do they want you? And the answer is yes. We have the page of bats and the and the upright. This one's in the upright. This one's in the upright. This one's in the upright. Only one of them is in the reverse. So it's a really strong yes. But this is, you know, the page of bats, the, the emperor, the six of pumpkins, and the knight of wands or the knight of imps. All right. So what is it saying? I feel like this person does look at your social media and they see you rocking it. And they think about getting together. For some of you, they might just think about getting together, but some of you, I feel like they think about reconciling or no, they're not. It could be apology, but for some of you, but, but they want to reconcile for a lot of you. They also could be thinking of you or saying that you're a friend. They're for a good portion. There's some kind of third party situation. I am actually picking up a romantic third party situation for the lot of you, like most of you. It's very strongly saying that. 
Either way, it's just talking about making decisions and there being another option. That you're an option, that you're a fork in the road. But they do want to recover from this heartbreak and they do want to take action towards you. The Six of Pentacles, they could be thinking about giving you some kind of gift or something like that. With the Queen of Swords, it could be something that the gift could something to do with communication. Or they're at least wanting to give you more of something. And it could be more honesty and communication. We do have Game Face, though, and it says, Taking things very seriously, a competition. The look. And it's to win it and fake it till you make it. So I'm definitely, you know, picking up this vibe of, you know, taking things really seriously. And then we have the Knight of Wands. This person feels very, actually, they feel very passionately about you. A lot of them, they feel very sexually towards you. Meow is having fun trying to fit in. With Meow, it is about kind of faking, not like being in a, like, hiding behind a mask, pretending to be like everything else. Having fun trying to fit in. And then we have the lovers in the reverse. I feel like that they want, they're trying to gain the strength to come towards you is partially it. And then some of them, I feel like that there's difficulty in making the decision. Also, I feel like that you guys might not be in alignment currently completely. And then Skull of Stars, they, you know, they feel like there's like infinite possibilities in your connection. More so than whatever they're currently have going on. I shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. So I feel like they are going through a difficult time. And I'm seeing that also they might see you as some kind of guiding light to help them through some kind of some sort of difficulty. Also, I'm picking up that some of you may have had a healing type of communication not too long ago or in the past. Where you had this conversation about, you know, like maybe you, you know, try to console them or something while going through some kind of difficulty. I'm picking up there's some of you that have done that. But I do see that they, some of you, they have come to you for advice and that you are often a guiding light in the situation with them. So let's go ahead and see what messages they have for you. Let me put these away quick. All right, please tell me what does option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number one's person want to say to them? What does option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? All right. And so the first one says, you are haunting me. I'm definitely picking up that vibe. We also have, I'm hiding my desire for you. Again, picking up that vibe. We also have, many of my friends don't like you. I look at your pictures often. Definitely, because they're looking at your social media. I'm attracted to your money. Also, if you're not somebody who has a lot of money, this card is really the is like they're attracted to your ability to be independent and self-sufficient, how you're able to take care of yourself. We have, please give me more time to figure things out. We have, I know I was wrong, but I don't want to admit it. The karmic and I broke up. 
I put a protection spell on you. If they're not someone who does spells, that they have the intention of protecting you. They've tried to protect you in some way. I've wanted to reach out, but then I've stopped myself. I believe we're twin flames. I was picking up some twin fly. I feel like there's going to be some twin flames in this pile. And if not, you're probably at least going to be like a high, high soul level connection. A soulmate connection. We also have my family doesn't want us together. Your name makes me smile and your voice drives me wild. I think you curse me. That kind of goes along with haunting me. And you're so good and I'm so bad. So they see themselves as someone, as you being a better person than they are. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and now move on to option number two. All right, so here we are with option number two with the rose quartz. And let's go ahead and find out if your person wants you. these cards here. All right. So the first one we have is the three of pentacles and the reverse. We have the star in the reverse. We have death in the reverse. The six of bats. And we also have the King of Wands. I'm trying to make them a little bit straight. All right, clarifying the Three of Pumpkins in the reverse, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarifying the Star in the reverse. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Clarifying Death in the reverse, we have Justice. Clarifying the Six of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords. Clarifying the King of Wands, we have the Page of Cups and the Reverse. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, we have Cheers. Clarifying the Six of Swords and the Reverse, we have Wicked. Clarifying Justice. We have Stork, clarifying the Ace of Swords, we have the Document, and clarifying the Page of Cups in the reverse, we have Taking a Chance. All right, and then for your Oracle cards, we have Apple, Risk, and Reward. And number 38, you are rare and free. There's not many like you. All right, so do they want you? So the signs that we that could be associated with this reading is going to be, we got some Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I got all of the earth here. I'm picking them up. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra. Pretty much any air sign. A lot of earth and air. And we also have Cancer, Leo, and any water sign. Jesus, throw them all in there. There's a little bit of everybody in here, okay? All right. But if we went just by Major Arcana, we would have Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra. That's just for the Major Arcana. Okay, so 
you know, do they want you? So we have one, two, three cards in the reverse, two in the upright in the top row. And so the answer is no. Even in the bottom, we have three in the reverse and two in the upright. So if you were counting it like that. But anyways, I'm getting that some of you might work with this person. Some of you I'm picking up that they actually had drinks with you at some point. But I see a lack of cooperation and wanting to get together. I feel like definitely things are very stagnant. And some of you have been actually picking up the some of you have been pining over this person for a while and there's been some interactions going on for a while. But I feel like that you wanting a new beginning, someone's wanting a new beginning and it's not working. We have stagnant energy. There's a lack of cooperation, a lack of working together. I feel like that you or, I don't know, there's definitely like a pessimistic outlook, okay? And I saying that, okay, they're saying this you, for most of you, it's you that you have a pessimistic outlook in the situation to begin with, and but you're having a very difficult mental transition. They're saying that you need to do things to raise your vibration so you can overcome the situation. Okay. I do feel like there's been some, some negative things going on between the both of you. We have mischievous, naughty, harmful, dangerous, false betrayal, lie, cheat, and beware. So I feel like that you both, maybe some of you haven't been playing very, been fighting dirty. Okay. But the death in the reverse it is saying to me that the relationship is over and whatever that means is saying that it's over and that that is actually a fair that that's justice has been served karma has been served is what it's saying and with sorkin it's saying that i feel like that they could be having a new beginning okay stork does talk about pregnancy though so some of you or someone could be not you. Maybe they could have got someone else pregnant. Or they could have gotten you pregnant and then moved on. But I do see this person moving away from you. And I feel like that they've made this very clear through their communication to you. That they're moving on from you. I'm getting a, I'm, I'm picking up that. A lot of you, you may have actually had a legit relationship with this person or you had a, an interesting situation ship. I'm picking up there could be a third party situation for some of you, but not for everyone. But the third party doesn't have to be romantic in this situation. It could be work related or family or friend related, but most likely work related. If there is anything not saying that there could not be any romantic ones, but it, it is possible, but most likely is saying that, you know, it's mostly concentrating on potentially work. Um, with the King of Wands, I feel like that it is saying that the Page of Cups in the reverse this person has been a, a disappointing relationship for you. I feel like this person can sometimes come off as a bit of a player for some of you. I don't think that they're all necessarily players. But there's different things. I feel like that this person could have um, an experience in relationships. They're not very good with their feelings. Also, this person is very, like, kind of an ambitious person or very fiery, passionate person. And I'm really feeling like... They are very, like, they have a lot of confidence and stuff, and they are capable of moving from one thing into the other. I feel like they're kind of a risk taker and a very adventurous person. It says, go for it. Good chance. Set your intentions for a positive outcome, and you can't win it if you don't play. And I feel like that is part of what they're doing. See, again, risk and reward. You know, this is talk about risk, too. And I feel like that for some of you, this person has potentially risked your connection for something else. Either for a working situation, a, a romantic, or maybe even a friend. 
We have, you are rare and free. There are not many like you. I'm just getting this really strong um, sense that they could be feeling that you're rare and free or it could be, it could go either way. So this person, this description of someone who's adventurous, it could be you or them. Take whatever resonates. So let's go ahead and find out what they want to say to you. tell me what does option number two's person want to say to them what do they want them to know what does option number two's person want to say to them what do they want them to know Oops. what does option number two's person want to say to them what do they want them to know what does option number two's person want to say to them what do they want them to know Let's see what they want to say to you. Please tell me, what does option number two's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number two's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number two's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number two's person want to say to them? What does option number two's person want to say to them? What does option number two's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number two's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number two's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? All right. So let's see what the first one says. It says, you make me believe in true love. I'm excited to talk to you. I'm always checking to see if you've messaged me. We also have, I can't be with you now and maybe not ever. You turn me on. I'm afraid I will hurt you again. I'm afraid of the karmic. I want to stop holding back from you. I'm always trying not to think about you. This is like really feel it feels like you're like two people who maybe were together and broke up or had or at least for a short period of time and then like you're trying to move away from each other is what i'm getting out of this pile you are my other half so they do feel like there's a strong strong soul bond i have loved you since the day we met i'm having a lot of problems with my family i am worried and anxious I am worried you will stab me in the back. I put a protection spell on you, so they're trying to protect you in some way if they haven't, if, you, if they're not someone who does spells. And I put a love spell on you, so maybe some of them there are people who would do a spell. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. Oh, and by the way, I put a love spell on you. Whew, what if they really did? That might explain your feelings. But anyways, um, if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. And if you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and now move on to option number three. All right, so here we are with option number three with the Labradorite. If I can grab it. And let's go ahead and find out. Your person wants you.
All right, and so the first one is Judgment. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Empress. We have the Hanged Man. And then we also have the Ten of Pumpkins or Pentacles in the reverse. All right, and then Clarifying Judgment, we have the Eight of Swords. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Clarifying the Empress, we have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarifying the Hangman, we have the Emperor. And clarifying the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, we have the Hanged Man again in the reverse, though. Clarifying the Eight of Swords, we have Proposal. Clarifying the Seven of Wands in the reverse, we have Bride. Clarifying the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, we have Sunshine. Clarifying the Emperor, we have the Screw. And clarifying the Hanged Man in the reverse, we have Who's Walking Who. Then for your Oracle cards, we have uh, Winter. And it says the sacredness of pausing. So things are on pause. I can definitely see that with a hangman double, double hangman. And we also have mortality. Number 42, life is brief and bright, beautiful and yours to live. All right, so do they want you? So we have one, two, three, four cards in the upright, one in the reverse up here. And that indicates a yes, that they do want you. And then even on the bottom, we have we have no. But I don't feel like that. I don't count the bottom. I only read the top for yes or no card. That's where I focus on. Okay, so the signs that could be associated with this reading is going to be Libra, Sagittarius, Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Capricorn, Leo, and the Eight of Swords, Gemini. All right, so yes, they do want you. I feel like that they might act like they don't, or they don't care. All right, so Judgment, I feel like, oh yeah, Scorpio, by the way. Scorpio, not just Libra, but Scorpio as well, but as one of the ones here, but this person, I feel like they want to take, they want to make a decision. Okay. That they want to take things to the next level. Like they're trying to decide or they have decided, but they're feeling a lot of limited thoughts and feelings. They could be feeling like they're not good enough. They could be feeling like you know, that you wouldn't be attracted to them or something like that. They're having limited thoughts. They also could be feeling like a victim, but we also have Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius. Let's see. They feel like that you're destined to be together, but they're not. With the Seven of Wands reverse, I'm not feeling like that they are standing up for the connection. With Bride, they're interested in, in advancement or commitment. This person, they definitely are interested in. They see you as the Empress, you know? They see you as the Halloween Empress, I guess. Or I'm just joking, but they're seeing you as the embodiment of all the queens. Okay? I'm hearing there's other people's opinion that they're also not standing up against. So other people are going, you don't want to do that. Or people telling them what to do. 
With the two of pentacles, this person is hiding their feelings and they're feeling really overwhelmed. You, when you come in the room or when you're around them or when they see you, that you're just like this ray of sunshine and you just have all these good vibes. They have this, like, even this card even means yes, that yes, they definitely want you. And they are, they just, I feel like that they get all, like, especially for those of you who have met this person and you see them regularly, I feel like that when they see you, they get really, they get really, feel really overwhelmed and they, but they get all happy and they're smiling and they want to see you and they just, they just get really happy when they see you and they smile probably a lot when they see you. I do see things being on pause with the hangman, Pisces, twice, Pisces, Aries, but <sighs> the garbage trucks breaks outside sounds like bells or something. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is that? <laughs> That's why I paused it. Anyways, so um, they're, they're like, they're afraid that you're not going to want them. They're afraid they're going to tell them off too. They want to take action, but they're afraid that you're going to tell them off. And they want to have a commitment with you. They feel like that their commitments never work out. <laughs> and so they're like, oh, I never had anything. They haven't had any really good relationships that ever worked out. And they're like, I don't know. And, and so they're having, they're having some, they're, they're really, again, this card is talking about feeling pulled and overwhelmed, you know, but they're also being a realist, they're being, being resistant. And, it, and it's because they're having, I feel like they're having some difficulty. So again, it's saying that the sacredness of pausing, so they're kind of pausing things for right now. But at the same time. I feel like that they're also feeling this mortality card, which is about, you know, you know, you know that you're mortal. You're not going to live forever. We don't have forever for her to be trying to be with you. So life is brief, bright, and beautiful and yours to live. And also I'm picking up for some of you, they have this sad, sad, almost like a sad feeling like they don't feel like that they could keep up with you or that you have like, I don't know. They don't feel like that you would really do something to enrich their life. Or your life, they couldn't, they wouldn't bring, they don't have anything good to bring to your life. And so, like, they see you as being someone who's very adventurous and someone who could have a lot of fun and everything. And they just feel like that they're kind of like, they could be a drag. Some of them could be difficult, like, suffering with depression or something like that. And, but they are definitely feeling like, you know, life is short and... They're definitely thinking about making and taking an action towards you. Now, the question is, some of you, I feel like they will actually take action. And some of you, they may not because of their being so, like, overwhelmed and so, I don't know, how to put the words. And, like, they're, they feel intimidated. Yeah. So let's go ahead and see what they want to say to you. Please tell me, what does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Please tell me what does option number three's person want to say to them? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? Please tell me what do they want them to know. All right, and so we have your name makes me smile and your voice drives me wild. 
I think we're soulmates. I'm always comparing you and the karmic. I'm hiding you from others. I'm afraid you won't find me attractive. Exactly what I was saying. And I have done a negative spell on you, so they feel like they've done something negative towards you as well. Some of you may have some kind of karmic situation as well. This one says, how could you want to be with me after everything I've done? So they feel like they've done shitty things to you or towards you and... You've been basically they've been a pain in your ass in some way, and they don't know how you could want to be with them. I'm attracted to your money. If you're not someone who has a lot of money, that's not what um if this card is necessarily about. It's also about being independent and self-sufficient. So if they see you, you know, adulting, you know, um, being independent, then they could find that impressive. Especially if they're not as a as um, independent as you. I've wanted to reach out, but then I've stopped myself. This one right here, also I was picking up that, you know, um, some of you, I feel like they're like, well, I don't have that much money. But imagine, you know, you might seem like you have a lot of money to them if they have less than you. Just something to think about. We have, I think about marrying you, so they think about marrying you. Can we just be friends? I don't know what I want. Again, they're struggling with wanting to, like, the commitment to, not just thinking that they have a small PP. I'm afraid I will hurt you again. So, yeah, it looks like some of you, that this person has hurt you in the past already. And I put a love spell on you. So they definitely have their intentions for love towards you. And I can't let you go. You mean the world to me. And then we also have, I have a dirty secret. So again, this person has done something naughty and they don't, some of you that you may not know and some of you, you do know. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to option number four. All right, and so here we have the cards for option number four with the clear quartz crystal. And let's go ahead and find out if your person wants you. All right, and so first we have devil, the devil in the reverse. Then we have the High Priestess in the reverse. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Ace of Pumpkins. Clarifying the devil in the reverse, we have the four of, of cups or potions. Clarifying the high priestess in the reverse, we have the queen of pentacles. Clarifying the two of wands, we have the hermit. Clarifying the seven of swords. We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm clarifying the Knight of Cups. Like the clarifying the Ace of Pumpkins with the Knight of Cups. All right. And then clarifying the Four of Cups, we have Sweetheart. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, we have Island Time. Clarifying the Hermit, we have Mall Crawl. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles and the Reverse, we have Team Awesome. And clarifying the Knight of, Pen of Cups, we have Taking Out the Trash. And for your Oracle cards, we have Forgiveness, 
Reducing burden. And then we also have number 41, forget who you are. Conditioning falls away, memory no longer defines you. Wow, okay. So the answer is yes, they do want you. We have one, two in the reverse and three in the upright. I thought for sure after I first, I saw the first two cards that it might be going that direction to her being no, because I haven't seen these cards, but uh, yeah, it's, the answer is yes. So the signs that could be associated with this reading is going to be Capricorn, Cancer, Virgo. I got Aquarius. We have like any earth sign, basically. Um, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus. Yeah, Taurus, and I say Capricorn. Even Aries, a bit of Aries. And any earth sign. All right, so do they want you? Yes. I feel like they're wanting to release something. They're wanting to release maybe some kind of situation, something that's been stopping them, holding them back from you, and they're wanting to come towards you, okay, with sweetheart. And it says, romance infatuated wants you back, courting a gentleman, a surprise, treating you well, and sorry. So some of you might, they might have an apology for you, and I'm also feeling like some of you could have already been with this person and they want to get back together with you. Some of you are not going to resonate with that, but they are wanting some kind of, maybe some kind of reconciliation, potentially, okay, they're not in a hurry, though, apparently, because we have island time. So they're wanting to take their sweet-ass time with this. With the Queen of Pentacles, they do see you as somebody who's very abundant, someone who's very grounded and practical and nurturing. Okay, and they secretly really want you. But the thing is, is that they, they also secretly want to ground the connection. But also, they're just like, they're trying to take their time. They're trying to have a relaxed attitude about everything. I do see there being some kind of choice that, that they're reflecting on currently, and it could have something to do that something that is money related that they're wanting to reflect on in relation to you. I do see there's some kind of situation with money potentially. Also, yeah, there's a lot of something to do with money. For a lot of you for some of you, you might not resonate with that but i am getting that there's a lot of you whether maybe wanting their money right or something like that with the seven of swords it can indicate them being deceptive but also strategizing for some i'm picking up that they're even stealing okay um i'm not saying that is going to be for everybody obviously but there's a handful of you that are wanting to steal money for the connection that's kind of interesting thing. That's not going to resonate for everybody. Either way, they're wanting to, and they're strategizing on also how to get money, how to and do things to also ground the connection to to um, kind of go from feeling abandoned to having an upturn of events. Okay, they want to have a healthy new beginning with you, and they want to give you a love offer. But it looks like they're needing to be cutting some kind of ties. Finally dumping that loser, they might have to break up with somebody else. They could be having to cut some kind of emotional ties or have some emotional clearing that they're wanting to do. They're needing to have some self-love. All right. We have forgiveness and it says reducing burden. So I feel like there is a certain degree, like they maybe are wanting you to forgive them or they're wanting to forgive you. And they're wanting to have a fresh start here with forget who you are. And I'm not... Like, I don't even know, I don't even see anything that needs to be forgiven or something, but obviously it must because it's talking about forgiveness that is to move forward. And then this card, all it talks about is two people, these, like this, this deer and this, and Alice, they meet in a meadow and it's like a magical meadow, meadow and it makes them forget who they are. So their past doesn't define their current reality. So it's like, it's like a... Wanting to have a fresh start and also but also forget your past conditioning that makes you terrified, you know. And I feel like that part of that is connected to this forgiveness card. So let's go ahead and see what it is that they want to say to you. All 
right, please tell me, what does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Please tell me what does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? I'm going to show one more time. What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Excuse Princess Peach Meow. She hears me talking. And so she wants to come in here. And I can't let her in here because she'll knock everything down. All right, so we have, I am always comparing you and the karmic. We have, I'm not sure if you could ever forgive me. I can feel a strong soul bond between us. We have, leaving the karmic would cause too many problems. I'm excited to talk to you. I'm always checking to see if you've messaged me. I'm sorry I hurt you. Can we just keep things the way they are? I'm trying to move on, but I can't. I think about marrying you. I'm afraid I will hurt you again. I have always wanted you. I'm attracted to your money. And if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of money, it doesn't mean that they're not attracted to you about that. It's about being self-sufficient and independent. So they are attracted to your ability. Some of you do have money. But just letting you know. We also have, I'm hiding my desire for you. I can't let you go. You mean the world to me. And... The Karmic and I broke up. Interesting. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.